The big thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to do the ride to conquer cancer. I didn't know if I could do it, and, and that was a scary feeling sitting there being an active guy my whole life, be bedridden down to the point where I couldn't do anything. I'm a firm believer and this place gave me not only hope, but it gave me my life back. Okay, uh, my name's Aaron Kalashaw. I work with the Sheriff's Department. Life before my neck injury was an active one. Played sports all through high school. After I had graduated high school, I continued on to play recreational sports just to keep active. It started off, um, I, I was having some issues sleeping. I would wake up with a stiff neck. Didn't really think much of that. And it started to happen more regularly where I was having at least once every month for a few days. And then what really kind of pushed it over the edge was I hurt my neck and, and it got really stiff. It felt like it was in my lower back and it was just this really tight knot and I couldn't get rid of it. So I, I thought that I would go get massage and that would kind of work it out. After the massage, I really noticed that's uh, when the pain, the nerve pain started radiating down my arm. I'd spent a couple months uh, pretty re religiously going to the, uh, the chiropractor and, um, and it just wasn't I wasn't able to get any relief. Yeah, it just started sort of gradually. And there was this guy that was full of life and had a lot of energy. And you know, but month after month, when you're not sleeping, you're in constant pain, you get no relief. It started to affect his personality a bit. I was feeling really bad for him because he was this guy that just wanted to do a lot of activities and just, it was really limiting what he could do. He had had it once before, it kind of went away. And then about six to seven months later, it came back. I had heard about someone that had the same thing at work pain radiating down his arm and I said well tell like so what did you do like I want to tell my husband what 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 he could do and he's he's started talking about he tried this guy here's his number you should go see back fit what I noticed here it felt more of a community I had the same feeling from your staff at the front desk super accommodating super you, you see how many people are coming and going but I felt like I was the only one here the next big thing that that sticks out in my mind was the the Wednesday night talk showing up here and knowing you've done that class, that talk, probably hundreds of times. But your passion that came through, and I remember telling her in the car, walking out of here, that you don't get to that place unless you care about people. And then that was the part where I, I walked out and I said, okay, well, if he cares that much about people that he, you know, he's trying to help, I'm in good hands. And then it was my initial assessment and just describing kind of what I've been going through and just how in tune to, to my needs he seemed. What I noticed here and in, in the assessment that I went through here was um, a kind of a battery of, of physical tests. Everything from my flexibility to my grip strength to my core strength to nutrition. Um, not only was I doing the physical tests, but I was also doing um, handwritten lifestyle tests, which all was all encompassing into this um, overall you know, score that we're you know, trying to achieve here at BackFit that, that you created. At BackFit, um, it took a look at our whole lifestyle. And so it wasn't just what we were doing to our back, but how can we do other things to make sure our spine health continues? Then you, you, know, you put that into getting x-rays. And I've never had someone take an x-ray of me, let alone sit down with me and go over my x-rays, where I could see kind of where the injury points were, where I could understand that the treatment plan was going to be, how it was going to impact my body, what, what were my options. You gave me multiple options. You gave me the options where I do nothing, you gave me the options where I do a, a little bit, and you gave me the options where I go full force for it and I see where I end up. You didn't try to sell me that this is what you need to be doing. That was a very eye-opening and educational piece for me. You have to have that knowledge to understand where you're treating and why you're treating it. And then the next thing uh, that we did was came back for my back score. I'm not burdened by the pain anymore. The, the pain isn't controlling me. I control my destiny. I control where I want to go, how I'm going to get there. I control my health. Because if you're in constant pain, whatever it is that you're going through, even if it's you're just beginning to you know, start this pain journey that you're, you're going on, BackFit is the place. You need to come here. You need to take your life, your health into your own hands. I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer, what was it, three and a half years ago? Yeah. Um, so for me, the big thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to do the ride to conquer cancer. Uh, that ride was very important to me because I, 
I wanted to prove to myself and I also wanted to honor everybody who's impacted that I personally know and outside. I wanted to ride for them. It was something that I, I needed to do. Yeah, so when he came to see you and you had told him, maybe, a little sliver of hope for him. I don't know at that point if I thought he could do it. So I knew one way or another he probably would have done it. We would have done it in pain and maybe had to stop halfway through, which would have been devastating for him or there'd be some sort of miracle. And it was only, it was pretty quick when I started to see a difference with him, where he's like, oh, I'm actually starting to feel good. He was getting his life back into him. My ride and what that meant to me to be able to do it, um, it was a healing, it, it healed me. Just how inspiring that was to, to me to feel like, you know, yes, I had my own little sliver and piece of the pie of, of what I've had to go through, but I'm not the only one. It brought me closer to putting that behind me. And not just because I got to do the ride, but just the amount of weight that's put on, that we put on ourselves um, to achieve things in life. I hit a lot of different emotions on that ride. You know, hearing stories of people who couldn't be there, hearing stories of people who were there that had um, bone treatment, you know, cancer treatment the week before and they're doing the ride. And, and I would never have been able to do that if I didn't come here. There was no way that I would have been able to do that ride. Tam says that I was I would have done it, yes, I, I would have attempted to do it, but there's no way. Completing the ride and holding my bike up at the end with my, my um, co-workers um, was just the most healing piece of the puzzle for me that I, I needed to go through. It was a journey. The journey was me starting day one of Backfit in pain to on pills, to not being on pills anymore, not being in pain, being strong, losing weight, feeling better. Um, so that ride just was the chapter of the book of what I had to go through to get to that point. So now that I've completed something that was you know, quite high on my, my bucket list, where do I go from here? Um, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Ironman, that's what I wanna do. Um, completing an Ironman is, is the true ultimate test of, of what I would assume would be a physical test, um, both physically and mentally. So that's my goal. I, I'm, this just gave me, it gave me the confidence to, to say, hey, that's an option. You know, hey, no, not even it's an option. No, hey, you need to do this before you, you're unable to do it. I'm going to achieve it. Um, but that wouldn't be possible without backfit. This is a tangible dream that, I, that I've always had, but I just took it for granted. I, I never did it because I thought, well, I'm, I got time. I always have time. So, you know, why is it important that I look at health from a different perspective now, that I'm not taking it for granted? For me, what I would say is if, if you're watching this video and it feels like there's no hope, you don't know how you're ever going to get out of the pain that you're in and the consistent daily grind. I know, I've been there. Take that opportunity because a place like this can change your world. It, it, it can give you hope again because if you're in constant pain, BackFit is the place. You need to come here. You need to take your life your health into your own hands. And if, it, if the one person out there that I can help, you know, share my story with that could inspire them to, you know, come into a back fit in pain to try to, you know, take, take control of their life again. I control my health. And, and that's the big thing is back fits awarded me that opportunity to, to be back in control of my health. And I'm telling you, if you feel like you're lost and you feel like you don't have an, a chance, you need to take that opportunity just just come in, just walk through the door and then the rest will be your journey.